Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we tap on your window in the middle of the night. I'm your host E, and today I have some theories. But first, fit check! If you're new around here, this is a Stephen King theorist video where I link together all of Stephen King's books and tie them all back into the Dark Tower series. So if you haven't read all of Stephen King's books or you're worried about spoilers, I would click away now. Today we're talking about Stephen King's second published novel, which was Salem's Lot. This is going to be a relatively short video because the ties are very obvious. Uh, Father Callahan from Salem's Lot makes an appearance in the Dark Tower series, where he eventually meets his final end. Two other things of note, there are two short stories in Night Shift, one of them called Jerusalem's Lot, and the other one is named One for the Road. Jerusalem's Lot doesn't really tie in to Salem's Lot or One for the Road, but it does tell a sort of beginner's history of the town. If you don't know, Jerusalem was a pig. The town was named after a pig. This tracks. Salem's Lot is one of the scariest vampire novels in existence. The 1979 miniseries by Toby Hooper has one of the scariest scenes in all of cinematic history and it remains one of the best television adaptations of Stephen King's works. You can even find references to Salem's Lot in such TV series as Castle Rock, where one of the characters takes a bus to the infamous town. Now that really doesn't play well as far as canon because we all know that at the end of Salem's Lot, Salem's Lot is pretty much done for. We see a little bit of that aftermath in One for the Road, the second Salem's Lot story in Night Shift. I will throw out a bit of criticism here. The relationship between Ben Mears and Susan, whatever her name is, is rather forgettable and probably my least favorite part of the book. As I said in the original video, way back in the way back, Stephen King doesn't write believable romances. Feel free to argue with me down there in the comments. If you're looking for help finding a first edition copy, an actual first edition copy, here's a couple things you need to look out for. Only 25 copies of Salem's Lot were printed with the price code of $8.95, but they remained in-house at Doubleday. The actual price of the book when it was published and released worldwide was $7.95. You're also going to look for the Father Cody error. It should say Father Callahan. Well, that's all the time I have for today. If I missed anything in this theorist video, please let me know down there in the comments. But until next time, I'll hail the chair.